ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் லாஸ்ட் டே வி லேர்ன்ட் அபவுட் ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் பேர்ஸ் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி ஆஃப் சைனா டுடே வி வில் பி லேர்னிங் அபவுட் ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் ஹேர் வாஸ் எ ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி பை சைனா ஸோ இன் ஆர்டர் டு டிஃபெண்ட் அஸ் ஓர் இன் ஆர்டர் டு ஆக்ட் அகெயின்ஸ்ட் சைனா ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் பேர்ஸ் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி இண்டிய வில் பி ஹேவிங் அ நியூ ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி தட் இஸ் நான் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் பேர்ஸ் ஓகே சாரி ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ எகெயின்ஸ்ட் சைனா ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் பேர்ஸ் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் வித் அஸ் ஸோ டுடே வி வில் பி லுக்கிங் இன் டு தி டீட்டெயில்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் பாலிசி ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஓகே ஸோ ஆஸ் லைக் சைனா ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஃப் பேர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நாட் அன் அஃபிஷியல் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஆஃப் இந்தியா திஸ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அ டேம் விச் இஸ் ரெஃபர் டு த ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் டேக்கன் பை இந்தியா டு ப்ரொடெக்ட் Uh, india from china string of pearl policy okay so as a part of string of flowers uh, policy we also are increasing number of ports and naval bases in the indian ocean region wherever the china has opened its ports and naval bases okay so wherever the places india uh, china has created or made uh, ports all those places we will also make our presence in the indian ocean region okay so that is what our strategy so as a part of that we have made about five important ports as well as the naval bases in indian ocean region okay we will look into the five ports one by one there will be more ports but uh, for sure we can write these names because as a part of that uh, string of flowers policy we have made these five ports uh, in the indian ocean region okay first one is changi naval base which is in singapore okay so this is the first uh, port in singapore which is made by india the importance of this port is that this is close to malacca strait okay we have the map of india here you know here is the singapore okay and here is the malacca strait okay so here we are having changi port of singapore so by having a presence at this place we will be having an active surveillance at this point that is here and this malacca strait okay so malacca strait is an important choke point i already told you what is a choke point in the last class that is an important narrow point where if china want to make a blockade they can make okay so this is an important point because most of the international trade is go taking place through this area okay china is also importing many uh, things through this uh, malacca strait only okay so if uh, china has a fear that if uh, india is is involving in any kind of blockade here china will be having a big problem okay so in order to protect china's interest only china is making an active presence in this area okay so as china is having a presence in this area india is also improving its presence here through making a changi port in singapore okay so we have changi port in singapore which will be providing an active surveillance in the malacca strait against china string of pearls policy okay so that is an important point next we have sabang port okay so sabang port is a second port uh, one more thing is here changi naval base we can use also for the uh, refueling need also okay so usually what we are using is andaman nicobar island we have ports so that was uh, we have been using for refueling of our uh, ship and all that okay so we can use this changi naval base of singapore for refueling of our vehicles okay naval ship etc so next is the sabang port that is the second port which is in indonesia okay so this is also close to malacca strait okay so if you are looking at the map you can see this is indonesia here we have sabang port okay this was changi naval base of singapore singapore is not here exactly it is here that's a small nation okay so we have singapore changi naval base and also sabang naval base of indonesia also was made by our india okay so that is the second port of india made in in the indian ocean region to tackle chinese string of pearls policy okay then is the chabahar port okay chabahar port is made in iran which is mainly for connecting with afghanistan okay actually we are in a need to make trade with afghanistan but uh, even though we have opportunity to trade through land route 
Pakistan is not willing for doing trade with India even though it is benefiting for Afghanistan. Actually, Afghanistan and Pakistan is having a good relationship. But as India is India and uh, Pakistan is having a strained relationship, Pakistan will not allow us to make a trade with Afghanistan through Pakistan. Okay, so what they are saying is that if Afghanistan want to Im transport any kind of thing to India, they can do no problem. They will allow transportation of goods from pa Afghanistan to India. That is, there is no problem or there is no uh, issue for Pakistan if they want to. They means Afghanistan want to transport or export any goods to India. They can do, do so. No problem. They will not cause any problem. But if something is exporting from India to Afghanistan, they will not allow. Okay. So, one way trade is happening between India and Afghanistan. That is only from Afghanistan to India. Okay. That is the permission given by Pakistan for the trade. Okay. So, for the trade between India and Afghanistan, export from Afghanistan, Afghanistan to India and uh, India is only taking place not uh, from India to Pakistan, uh, India to Afghanistan. Okay, there is one way trade is taking place that is only from Afghanistan to India. Okay, so all the uh, containers which is carrying goods from Afghanistan to India is going back empty. Okay, so they are not exporting anything from India to Afghanistan. Okay, so that is the problem between trade between India and Afghanistan. Okay, so in order to solve this problem of trade between India and Afghanistan, now India have a solution. Okay, because India is building Chabahar port in Iran through which India can connect with the Afghanistan. Okay, so we will look into the map again because here you can see I'm sorry there is a problem happen again look into the map here you can see India here is the Pakistan okay and around here you will have Chabahar port okay so from this Afghanistan is uh, around here okay so from this India will be making a land route okay India India can transport its goods to Chabahar port through the ocean region okay here through this area india will be transporting the goods to uh, uh, iran first okay iran india have made a port known as chabahar port okay so till iran india will be transporting goods through the ocean region ocean route okay from here through iran india will be transport or india will be making road facility to Afghanistan and through that road and the railway also railway system also India is making and through that road and railway India will be transporting goods to Afghanistan through this area okay so this problem of Pakistan is solved here because there is no need to consult Pakistan in this issue because India is not closing Pakistan to transport goods from India to Afghanistan in this case because first India will be transporting these goods to Iran, Chabahar port and from the Chabahar port through land or uh, through the rail or road route India will be transporting the goods to Afghanistan okay so this problem of trade has been solved here because now India can easily trade with Afghanistan through this ocean route as well as the road and railway route okay so this is one of the advantage of this port made by India. And another point is that this point is close to Hormuz and also this point is close to Gwadarpur. Okay, in the string of pearls, I already told you that Pakistan has been helped by China for making Gwadarpur. That is one of the important port of Pakistan. Okay, so Pakistan have a Gwadarpur. Here it is seen. Gwadarpur is made by China in Pakistan. Okay, so India can have a surveillance or can have an eye in this area by making Chabahar port here. Okay, here you will be having Chabahar port. So, from here India can have a observation at this Chabahar port. Okay, so Chinese presence is here in the Gwadar port of Pakistan. So, we can see what are the developments that is taking place in the Gwadar port. Okay, so we will be having an eye or a watchdog or this will be acting as a surveillance area for keeping an eye over this Gwadar port of Pakistan. That is the one point of this surveillance 
due to this chabahar pore another point is that here we have hormos strait also so hormos strait is another choke point okay so if china is making an attempt to block hormos strait by any means we can block this attempt of china by having a present presence in this chabahar pore okay so at a time we can have a presence or we can see what is happening in this godar pore and also we can block any activities that is taking place in this hormos strait by china okay so these are the two advantage of this chabahar pore in this area okay another point is that even though we made uh, a lot of promises to iran we made a mistake by delaying fund to uh, delay in providing fund to iran okay so at some point of time iran said that iran will be quitting from this project but somehow we managed it well and uh, at present the project is going well and we will be making a forward okay and another port is that dukkam port so so far we learned three port one is changi naval base of singapore second one is sabak port of indonesia and third one is chabahar port okay now two more port is left one is dukkam port of iran i'm sorry dukkam port is not in iran it is in oman okay so dukkam port of oman here uh, the benefit of us is that we will be having this dukkam port of oman is close to djibouti and is also close to godar port and also it is close to hormuz of strait strait of hormuz and also babar al mandeb okay so we have four places which is close to dukkam port okay dukkam port is in oman okay oman we have dukkam port here we will be having africa so djibouti at djibouti they have uh, chinese presence in djibouti so we will have an eye over this djibouti's port and also the place another chock point that is babel al mandi so here also we have an eye then uh, also this is close to strait of hormuz and also close to godar port okay so at four places we will have a watch okay one is Djibouti port second one is Babel al Mandeb strait second is that third one is here that is the Hormuz strait and fourth one is Godar port okay in all these four places we can see what is going on or what is happening in all all these four places so that is what is about the Dukkam port of Oman another one is Assumption Islands okay Assumption Islands is above Seychelles here we have navy as well as military access oh dukkam port was also uh, we also have naval access in this dukkam port okay so in case of assumption island also we have navy as well as military access which is above seychelles okay that is seychelles is here uh, close to africa uh, near madagascar island okay so above madagascar island we have assumption island as well as this Mm, seychelles okay so at that place we have both navy as well as military access which will be helping us to have uh, close monitoring the area of this uh, strait of formos as well as this babel al mandi djibouti godar port etc okay then we also apart from this five five ports we also have made another important step like we will we have been helping myanmar for the Kaladan multimodal project that is one point and also we have been helping Sri Lanka for uh, for the for the creation of a new airport that is also in Ambandota okay Ambandota I told you that in the past class that is regarding the string of pearl strategy as a part of string of pearl strategy China has already made a port in Ambandota so in Ambandota Sri Lanka is also making another project that is the airport so airport is in the hands of india okay so airport we will be making that airport because already they have learned a lesson sri lanka okay because uh, china provided a lot of money for the creation of this hambandota project but when they made uh, a lot of uh, mistake without uh, paying back the money they took this sri lankan port for 19 9 years for lease okay so Uh, by that and uh, the percentage of learn interest 
that they have to pay for china pay to china is really huge that is about six percentage is the loan interest that they will have to pay back to china okay so that is a huge amount okay but if they are taking loan amount loan amount from india they will have to pay only one percentage as the loan interest okay so at present what they are doing is they are uh, seeking help from india for making that uh, project of airport in hamandota okay so we will be providing loan with the uh, interest of one percentage to sri lanka and they will be using that loan for making that airport in hamandota okay so we have an edge here because uh, both airport and uh, the sport is also close to each other so by having a presence in this airport we will have also can monitor what is going on or what is happening in the hambandota because there is a chinese presence in this hambandota port okay so that is another point okay all together what we have learned today is regarding string of flowers okay so as a part of string of flowers india made five ports and also colored in multi model project and also Hambandota Airport in Sri Lanka. The five ports are Changi Naval Base in Singapore, Sabang Port in Indonesia, third one is Chabahar Port in Iran, fourth one is Dukham Port of Oman, and fifth one is Assumption Island. Okay, so that's all regarding the strong string of flowers. So next day we will be coming with a new topic. That's thank you.